Ryan Garcia recently revealed that Derek James has ceased training Errol Spence, marking a significant development. This revelation holds weight as Spence is set for a rematch with Terence Crawford in a few months. With Garcia confirming Spence's departure from James, speculation has been rife about the relationship between Derek James and Errol Spence. This uncertainty fueled beliefs that they might be parting ways before Spence's pivotal fight against Bud Crawford. The apparent conclusion seemed to be the end of their partnership. However, an intriguing twist emerges in this narrative. To discover the buzz, Ryan Garcia's recent clash with Golden Boy Promotions and his triumph over Oscar Duarte have dominated discussions this week. However, Garcia's post-fight interview added a fresh layer of drama. During the interview, Garcia revealed startling information that reverberated across the boxing community. He mentioned his trainer, Derek James, indicating that Garcia might be James's final fighter. Notably, Derek James is presently coaching Errol Spence Jr., who suffered a significant defeat against Terence Crawford in July and is gearing up for a rematch with Bud after activating his rematch clause. Ryan Garcia's statement holds various possible interpretations, leaving room for speculation. Is Derek James bidding adieu to Errol Spence before his pivotal clash with Terence Bud Crawford in early 2024, as hinted at by reports? There's been considerable speculation due to Ryan Garcia's remarks, mentioning that Derek mentioned him as his final fighter. Despite the swirling rumors suggesting James might be parting ways with Spence, Garcia's statement might not necessarily indicate a significant change in James's coaching dynamics. It appears more likely that James, a well-respected trainer known for nurturing champions, is simply limiting new additions, directing his attention toward his current stable of fighters, including Garcia and Spence. This strategic choice might stem from a desire to offer more personalized focus and resources to each athlete, ensuring they receive top-notch training and support in the high-stakes realm of professional boxing. In this sport, the relationship between trainer and fighter is crucial. James's decision could be viewed as a commitment to excellence, emphasizing a heightened investment in the careers of his existing fighters. Therefore, the idea of James abandoning Spence seems to be a misunderstanding of Garcia's remarks, shedding light instead on James's dedication to concentrating on his current roster. This approach could potentially lead to a more tailored and concentrated strategy for Spence's training and advancement in his career. Derek James, a highly regarded figure in the boxing world, embodies excellence and showcases the impactful influence of dedicated coaching. As a trainer, James has established himself by nurturing some of the most impressive talents in the sport. His current group of fighters attests to his expertise and the widespread demand for his mentorship. Among the notable individuals under James's guidance is Errol Spence Jr., whose remarkable abilities and skills have been significantly honed by James's strategic coaching style. Spence, a former IBF, WBC, and WBA super welterweight champion, has been under James's tutelage for a substantial portion of his career, benefiting immensely from his trainer's astute observations and tactical expertise. However, Spence is just one among the many elite fighters in James's stable. Another notable boxer under James's guidance is Jermel Charlo, the unified light middleweight world champion. Charlo, under James's tutelage, has polished his skills and emerged as a dominant force in his weight division. This partnership has yielded remarkable success, with Charlo achieving significant milestones, such as unifying the WBA Super, WBC, IBF, and Ring Magazine titles in his weight class. The numerous accolades amassed by James over the years are a testament to his profound impact in the boxing realm. He has garnered recognition as the Trainer of the Year from various organizations, highlighting his exceptional talent in developing and refining his fighters' skills. James's strategic approach, meticulous attention to detail, and profound understanding of the sport have earned him widespread respect, establishing him as one of the most esteemed trainers in the world of boxing. However, being in such high demand poses its own set of challenges. James's commitment to multiple top-tier fighters means that his time and attention are divided among them. This reality makes it challenging for him to allocate all of his time to any single fighter, including Errol Spence Jr. His hectic schedule requires a delicate balancing act, ensuring each fighter receives the necessary guidance and support while upholding the high standards for which he is renowned.
This ability to manage multiple commitments is a hallmark of James's dedication and professionalism, further solidifying his standing as a premier trainer in the boxing world. Additionally, the situation surrounding Errol Spence and his upcoming rematch against Terence Crawford is complex. Given the close association of Spence with Derek James, this situation becomes even more intricate. The abundance of rumors surrounding James parting ways with Spence can be attributed to Spence's deliberate absence from the public eye since his loss to Crawford in July. This absence has led many to believe that James and Spence have indeed gone their separate ways. The situation involving Errol Spence is complex due to his tumultuous journey, which has been fraught with challenges. Despite his undeniable skill and championship status, Spence has faced numerous setbacks, primarily stemming from injuries and life-threatening accidents that have significantly impacted his career. These setbacks have often hindered him from being in optimal shape for several recent fights. One of the most daunting incidents in Spence's career was a near-fatal car accident in October 2019, which dealt a severe blow to him both physically and mentally. After miraculously surviving the accident without life-threatening injuries, Spence encountered a lengthy journey toward recovery. The incident caused dental injuries, necessitating a substantial period away from training in the gym. This hiatus not only impacted his physical well-being, but also disrupted the career momentum he had been building. Recovering from such a traumatic event involves various facets for a boxer of Spence's caliber. It's not solely about physical rehabilitation, but also about reclaiming confidence and mental strength. The accident unavoidably resulted in a period of inactivity, making it challenging to maintain a fighting-ready physique. This inactive phase, combined with the natural recovery process, meant that Spence had to put in twice the effort to regain his peak form. Many professional boxers have remarked that during such times, the journey back to top form demands immense dedication and perseverance. We're uncertain if he should immediately return to the Terence Crawford fight because he genuinely needs rest. His body requires time to recuperate. Additionally, Spencer's career has been marked by recurring injuries, compelling him to take breaks. In sports like boxing, Injuries aren't merely physical setbacks. They disrupt training routines and can cause significant weight fluctuations for a boxer, especially at the highest competitive level. Such interruptions can greatly hinder the maintenance of the demanding standards necessary for peak performance. Extended periods away from the gym have repercussions beyond just losing physical fitness. They also entail the loss of crucial training time essential for refining skills and developing strategies, a critical aspect for Spence's success. These periods of absence forced him to catch up upon his return, striving to regain his previous level of performance and tackle any new challenges that arose during his time away. Yet it wasn't just the training routine that affected Spence. His significant defeat to Terence Crawford in July almost spelled the end of his career. Entering the fight already unfit and injured added to his struggles. Moreover, Spence was mandated to maintain a weight of 147 pounds, and according to reports, his dietitian advised cutting carbohydrates to prevent weight gain. While reducing carbohydrates is a fundamental aspect of weight management, it also substantially diminishes energy levels, which posed a challenge for Spence. This proved to be a massive setback heading into his bout with Crawford. Not only was he injured, but fatigue also hindered his ability to perform at his best against Crawford. This unquestionably had a significant impact on Spence during the fight. However, the devastating loss to Bud was the final straw. He suffered severe bruising and injuries in his bout with Bud, appearing as though recovery would take him several months, as indicated by various reports. Following his defeat to Crawford, Spence has reportedly been absent from the gym for several months. Only recently have reports emerged about Spence commencing his fitness regimen. If this is indeed accurate, it implies that he isn't currently training under Derek James. Spence has recently returned to the gym, but he hasn't started training under Derek James yet. There have been rumors circulating about Spence leaving James, which were seemingly confirmed by Ryan Garcia. However, despite these speculations, James has remained unwavering in his commitment to Spence. This loyalty is particularly evident as they prepare for the highly anticipated rematch against Terence Crawford. James's steadfast support for Spence isn't just a professional choice. It's a testament to the deep bond and mutual respect 
that has grown between the trainer and the boxer over the years. Known for his strategic expertise and his ability to bring out the best in his fighters, James has played a crucial role in refining Spence's skills and guiding him through the challenges of a demanding career. His decision to stand by Spence, especially during a period marked by injuries and setbacks, speaks volumes about his belief in Spence's talents and potential. This bond between James and Spence is a significant factor as they navigate the complexities of the boxing world together. The bond between a boxer and their trainer transcends the boundaries of the gym. It's a collaborative partnership based on trust, mutual understanding, and shared objectives. Derek James's decision to stand by Spence for the Crawford rematch represents a strategic choice, recognizing the unique hurdles this fight presents. James's expertise and deep familiarity with Spence's style, strengths, and areas for improvement are pivotal in crafting a customized game plan to counter Crawford's formidable skills. Furthermore, James's unwavering commitment to Spence during this pivotal phase of his career serves as a crucial morale boost. It reinforces the vital role of the boxer-trainer relationship as a cornerstone of success in the ring. Their enduring partnership, characterized by mutual respect and a profound understanding, plays a pivotal role in navigating the immense pressure and high stakes of such a significant rematch. Regarding Errol Spence's return to the ring against Crawford in the rematch, the question remains, will Derek James be able to aid Spence in making a triumphant comeback? So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.